news, everyone. All right. Yeah, if you guys ever have any news you would like me to talk about over here, uh, hit up that Discord. Jump into that uh, Kids News Corner. Uh, yeah, Kids News Corner channel. Man, I got to get better at that. Uh, and uh, drop, drop the articles in there. And I'll make sure I talk about them. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into this first one. UK Studio uh, Quali is making uh, layoffs to create rooms for new hires. Uh, this was dropped in here by uh, our good friend Title, Title Taint, as it were. And uh, yeah, interesting. This has been a thing we've been we've been talking about over the last uh, you know like year, maybe a little over, about all these layoffs that are happening with these uh, these game companies. And it's funny how many new ways these companies are coming up with to make them uh, make make each story unique, like laying off people to make room for new people because they would like to get rid of people to get new people in. Of course, it only makes sense. Uh, so many, right? I am shocked. Uh, damn, my bro left me. Uh, UK studio, uh, Quali has laid off an undisclosed number of workers. The company confirmed the news to mobilegamers.biz, an uh, absolutely reputable, uh, source. Of course, I've definitely heard of mobilegamers.biz. Uh, but failed to state how many employees has been let go. And I completely apologize to anybody who is a mobile gamer dot biz uh, stan, you know, <laughs> now that I've just talked shit about them. Uh, we are reshaping our business and our team to best capture the significant growth opportunities that currently exist in the sector, including hiring uh, for 20 new roles, said Kowali. Uh, Kowali. Lee, yeah, in a statement. I feel like I keep saying it wrong, but it's definitely Quali. Quali has the global scale management expertise and security of funding and com uh, combined with a differentiated strategy to take advantage of organic and acquisitive. Uh, why is that? Is it acquisitive? How the fuck you say that word? Where's my cursor at? Motherfuck. How to pronounce. I love I love getting a good pronounce. You know? Acquisitive. It's probably the, exactly how I just fucking said it, right? Acquisitive. Acquisitive. Oh, it's a little different. Sorry. To take advantage of the organic and acquisitive growth opportunities, a source close to mobile gamers uh, claimed that up to 40 people could be impacted by the layoffs, but Kuali indicated that that figure is inaccurate and the number of cuts will be lower. All right. Um, I don't know shit about Kuali. Does, does anybody know what Kuali even does? Or what their what what they make yeah same man video games they have done such great video games like bake it shootout 3d rocket sky draw it that's it uh i mean listen that doesn't that doesn't doesn't diminish um, that there's people getting let go, but it definitely doesn't help their case of what the fuck is happening. You know, like, I don't know. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm gonna get something real quick here. I just, I have my, I, I plugged in my other mouse and my, my fucking, I need to turn this up a little bit. Is that better? It feels a little better. My DPI on this one is a little bit different than my my wired mouse, and so every time I'm fucking using it, I felt like man, I'm not, I'm, I can't, I can't glide the way I'm normally gliding. 
I needed to turn my DPS up a little bit. Uh, okay, but yeah, so like I said, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't, it's not like a, uh, you know, it doesn't diminish, you know, that they're still letting people go, but it does definitely hurt that they are letting people go, so. Tiny game dev firing their janitors to get press during the current layoff trend. Bro, wouldn't that be some shit? Wouldn't that be some shit? They were like, you know what? We're not very big, but if we lay people off and we and we make the, the headlines just fucking goofy enough, people will totally totally take a look at what we're doing. Damn, that's that's some that's some some high IQ shit right there. But then stupid as well, because then it makes me feel like, God, what a what a dumbass company. <laughs> then people will Google our name, bro. They got me. Fuck. Fuck. I fell into the trap. Next time I'm going to Google somebody and you and you're kind of feeling you're feeling a little sus about it. Let me know. Let me know, chat, because that, at that point, I would like to, you know what? Not even give them a click. You know, it all starts with one. Um, so, all right. Well, I don't want to talk about them anymore. I'll psh, delete them off my page. Don't even want that. Who? I don't know. I don't even remember who they are. Uh, uh, the free Delta game emulator for iPhones is live on the Apple App Store. I don't know shit about this one. Um, but it looks like it's like a, uh, I mean, I'm obviously an emulator, but it's, uh, I don't know. Uh, the Del Delta emulator is officially available on the Apple App Store for free. You should be able to find in Apple's official store in many countries outside of the European Union. If you live in the EU, it should be uh, available in the new third party Alt Store Pal uh, app marketplace that just went live. Man, what a simple, easy thing, you know, of course. Uh, the app marks the first significant and official, uh, officially sanctioned game emulator uh, for the iPhone since Apple began allowing them with wide range console emulation from the original Nintendo Entertainment System to the N64 and even the Sega Genesis for when you want to play those games that Nintendo don't. Ah, 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 they hit him with the with the old Nintendo don't. Uh, Delta developer Riley Testus. Test hut, test hut. Uh, Riley uh, Testes told The Verge via email that the app is identical to the version debuting with the Alt Store Pal. The app features on-screen buttons that change their layout and appearance to match uh, whatever system you're emulating. Due to current economic conditions, Volatile, volatile, uh, what do they keep saying? Volatile, um, a volatile market. That's what they keep fucking saying, man. <laughs> We're laying off Mr. Midnight and, and it says here, Destan. Testes, I can't. <laughs> I mean, that's his name, bro. Uh, well, that's cool. I didn't know about this. The, uh, Delta game emulator. Oh my God, I feel like I gotta sneeze. Um, but that's cool. Um, I, I feel like I'm, I, I, I feel like there, I, I feel like there's stuff I could say like, oh wow, that's really cool. Apple's allowing it, but like, I, mean, I don't know, whatever. I, I just, I just don't, I don't know. You know, cool. If it's something you're into, make sure you check it out. Uh, if not, I mean, whatever, right? <laughs> That's right. The old, uh, see you later, buddy. Uh, let's get into something a little more creepy. Uh, Boston Dynamics has unveiled a upgraded, fully electric and terrifying flexible version of its Atlas humanoid robot. Y'all know about Boston Dynamics? You guys, you guys ever seen any of the Boston Dynamics? I bet you have, if, even if you don't think you have. Because they're one of those companies that has been doing robotics for like a while now. And... They, 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 they are, uh, yeah, the creepy dog robot. That, that's true. And the, and Atlas is one of the ones that 
goes around the internet every so often. He's doing like flips and shit, parkour stuff on boxes and stuff. He's pretty cool normally. Uh, but this this version is way weirder. Um, and there's a little video. We'll, we'll take a look. But uh, let me just go through a little bit of the little bit of the article here. Uh, Boston Dynamics has unveiled an upgraded fully electronic version of its Atlas humanoid robot, which is stronger and more flexible than its hydraulic predecessor. We promise this is not a person in a bodysuit, wrote the caption or the company in its uh, Twitter post revealing the new model. Um, do, 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 do. Boston Dynamics has been wowing the world with its robotic creations ever since it's unveiled its four-legged big dog military robot well over a decade ago. Uh, though that particular uh, model was deemed too noisy for active military service, the company has since refined its quadrupled machine uh, offering while, it's deve uh, while also developing a bipedal humanoid uh, Atlas line of robots. Yes, yes, yes. Robots! I'm ready to serve our new overlords. Well, just wait. Forgot the Tesla guy in a bodysuit thing. Yeah, I guess it was uh, also like a Russian thing too. Uh, which may be referencing an incident in 2018 where a seemingly high-tech robot featured on Russian state TV was discovered to be a man in a robot suit. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let me show you guys this real quick. This is. <laughs> I forgot. There's not a fucking thing, right? I gotta wait a second here. So this is the the video that they shared uh, of Atlas. Uh, I'll just show you. I wanted to make sure you guys can see he he on the ground. He you know listen. Maybe he's dead. Maybe we've won. Maybe that's it. I, why he gotta get up like that? Why he gotta get up like that? Why he gotta be weird? Bro. Bro, it's so fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. There, there's no reason there's no reason he should be getting up that specific way. Obviously, it's it's very impressive. Boston Dynamics stuff is always very impressive. But good lord, is that shit weird. <laughs> uh, too noisy, but grenades are fine. Bro, there's... You're not just throwing grenades as you're, as you're serving. Like, that's not the only thing you do. <laughs> Man's out here thinking you're just tossing grenades as you're walking along like fucking breadcrumbs, Hansel and Gretel style. Uh, never seen a Terminator. Eh, they probably have. Getting out of bed for real. But yeah, I this shit is just uh, I'm I'm just I'm surprised they they show this off and they're like we promise not a person in a bodysuit like bro obviously it's not people's legs don't work like that. That shit is crazy. I can't believe it. Um, it, it does. I mean, listen, the face. I'm going to go ahead and say it. The face is pretty fucking cute. I know it's just a fucking circle with a light on it. I'm ready to serve him, though. I'm ready to be like, if he's if he's like, hey, you want to be friends? I'm like, of course I want to be friends with you. Look how fucking cool you are, bro. <sighs> Uh, the reveal of the new uh, electric atlas comes one day after the company's announcement of the retirement of the previous generation of hydraulic machines, which is cool. I'm glad they're moving away from hydraulic and going into the electric. I feel like that's a better move anyway. According to Boston Dynamics, the latest generation of robots will be stronger and more dexterous than its predecessor, while also being uh, capable of traveling with a wider range of motion, uh, with in, which in some ways is unconstrained by its outward humanoid form uh yeah i like that a lot oh nice you guys need to rewatch terminator animated like a soul's boss intro we are so screwed yeah not that bad man i feel like we're fine 
but this is super cool. I, I I think it's interesting. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of people who are freaked out. Uh, it seems like Cross is one of them. You know, listen. I, it, you know, it, in all honesty, you know, robots are, are supposed to be made to help with a lot of things that um, would be kind of stuff that humans don't want to do um work that is 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 uh you know like a, a more difficult labor work and stuff like that there will be some things that are gonna this this will really help out i don't know i i feel like yeah dangerous work there's there's wow, a lot of what a hole there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of things that this could be really good for, but I definitely understand. Um, you know, I definitely understand people are a little wor worried, but you know, get over it, pussies. <laughs> uh, I'm ready for cyborg life, right? I'm just ready. I all I need is just a nice USB C to C, so I can just I, I can get my. Mode. So I can get my, I can get my, uh, I can upload my brain in there now. I'm li listen, I'm ready for the day where they're like, Hey, uh, cause I manage a, a little shipping team, um, at the company I work for. Uh, I have like, I think I have like 20 something employees. Uh, I'm ready for the day where they're like, Hey, we're, we're going to replace these 20 some employees with like five of these, these, these robots. And I'm going to be like, Pfft. Say less, fam. <laughs> also, if any of my any of my twenty employees uh, ever see this, I'm so sorry. I don't I don't mean that I don't like you. It's it's not that. I just uh, <laughs> robots. That's gonna be sick. Uh, in house waifu. I don't think that's. It's not a. It's not a sex robot, bro. <laughs> I mean, there's already sex robots. What do you, what, bro? I feel like you're you're misunderstanding what this is. All right. <laughs> yeah, listen, I, I I I love my employees. My employees are great. They're they're awesome people, legitimately. Um, but you know, <laughs> you know who doesn't get tired or get tired robots <laughs> you know who doesn't complain robots uh robots all right let's move on to this next one uh quentin tarantino is suddenly abandoning the movie uh critic after an apparent change of heart so apparently uh quentin tarantino's working on his final film is i think that's what's happening i don't know what's happening exactly i don't follow quentin enough and I don't really want to follow Quentin that much. Too many sex puns. Here, buddy, I got you. Um, hold on. Hold on. Give me a second. Wait, wait. Let me get you here. Uh, there you go, bud. No problem. Gotcha. A little time out for you. <laughs> He's been wanting to stop for a while now. Yeah, I know. Oh shit! <laughs> oh what? Y'all, y'all didn't think I was gonna time out, time nobody out, huh? Oh man! All right, you're good. You're you're good, Cross. You're good. <laughs> I'm ready to fucking get him. Ah. Oh. Sorry, I, I I was looking for a minute, man. Uh, apparently, apparently the timeouts are are very <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> the timeouts are like are very are like six six hundred seconds, which is like a like an hour or ten minutes, I think. Uh, and then there's like an hour, twenty four hours. The 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 bound the the timeouts are not that fun. Gonna make a Matrix movie? Oh, there is a new Matrix movie coming out, so maybe. Maybe that's the one he's switching to. 20 hours? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do no 20 hours. I think it's 24. What is it? Uh, what, here, man, I'll look at it again. Um, 
uh, one second, 10 minutes, one hour, eight hours, 24 hours. And none of those seem like I want like a like like give me a minute, five minutes, you know, something, something, some 10, 10 minutes seems too long. Uh, yeah, I knew he's been wanting to stop. He, uh, Quentin Tarantino always had this idea of how many movies he wanted to make. And I think he's kind of like, I don't know. I mean, I, I was, I, I thought I remember hearing something about how he was kind of like, well, I want to make, I only want to make these a certain amount of movies, but then he is kind of pushed that a little bit. Um, but then he was like, Hey, I'm making this move, this last movie. It's the movie critic. And now he's apparently being like, Nope, I'm not, <laughs> I'm going to do something else instead. <laughs> get people to, sh to shut up hey man man uh here's what you do cross you you start streaming and then you get to tell anybody whatever you would like um you know in a stunning move quint uh quentin tarantino has reportedly decided not to continue with the movie critic uh, deadline has reported instead Tarantino will uh, reportedly be going back to the drawing board to decide what his final movie will be leaving the movie critic alongside his numerous other ideas that never really came to fruition the news was sub subsequently uh, corroborated by Variety IGN has reached out to Sony Pictures as well um, as Tarantino's representative for comment Let's not do that. I have no filter. Yes, we know. We know. Uh, which would be an end to a perfect. I don't think it's gonna be, bro. I think I don't think that uh, his his last piece is gonna be a porn, a graphic film. Sorry, buddy. I know. That is. I, uh, I mean, didn't he start out? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm. I think you might have been thinking of something else. Uh, yeah, he is a big feet guy, though. That is that is 100% true. Um, but yeah, I, I, why? I I am interested to see what he ends up doing. I thought I remember feeling like I I had heard some stuff about this movie critic movie or whatever, and I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Um, uh, not to be though. So, uh, all right, we just got a couple more here. Uh, this is the official release date uh, trailer for Little Kitty Big City. If you guys remember, I played the demo for this. I don't know, it was sometime last year. Um, and it was just like a the quick demo, nothing too crazy, but they're going to, they have an official release date announcement. Let's go ahead and take a look. Damn, why he's so fucking cute. Yeah, if you guys don't remember, again, I, I, I played this, the demo of this on, on stream last year. The VOD is up on, up on the YouTube if you guys want to check it out, I'm telling you. out That is when we are getting the game full release. Uh, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC. Um, so yeah, I wanted to show this 
as I thought it was pretty dope. Um, I don't think I'm going to play it on stream. I don't think it's that kind of game. I felt like even when I was playing the uh, uh, the demo, I was like, eh, I don't know if it's that kind of game. But it, it does look like it could be a lot of fun um, as you're as you're you're playing by yourself, you know, having a good time. Uh, he was an usher for an adult film theater. Tarantino, I mean. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. Good for him. More kitty. Yeah, the the Game Pass Day 1. Yeah, that's pretty cool. The game is, is, is very fun, I think. I just don't think it's a good stream game. But I think it's uh, exciting. May 9th. Really, really coming up quick here, so um let's go ahead and jump into this next one the witcher renewed for fifth and final season as production gets underway on season four so wait 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 how many seasons did we get with uh kev uh cavill henry cavill how many seasons was was he in i feel like i don't remember the witcher show because now i'm like questioning myself because i thought he did how many uh, there's three seasons so he did three seasons kind of so they're kind of all right hold on give me one second Okay, yeah, so Cavill did three seasons. I thought the fourth season was like already in production. They're saying as production gets underway for season four. Didn't fucking know that. Yo, Jenna, what's happening? How you doing? Welcome in, Jenna. Welcome in, Jenna. Uh, so they're going to film season four and five back to back. And I guess they're just... Uh, bone jaw jesus christ i didn't i didn't realize what the fuck you were trying to say bone jaw bonjour bonjour um but yeah so they're gonna they're gonna film the last two seasons together and uh, for whatever reason they're gonna do some i don't know i feel like this is some dumb shit like there's no way you're wrapping it up in two seasons. They're, they're obviously realizing this is not going to be good. I feel like they did some tests with uh, with with Liam and they were like, Ooh, shit. This is not good. Not good. <laughs> Abort. I be happening. You always be happening. That's just who you are, Jenna. Be hipping and happening. Cavill is my girl. I like Cavill as well. I'm going to give Liam a, a little, uh, uh, you know, I'll give, I'll give him a chance here. I'm not, I'm, I'm going to give him a chance. You just thought I was spouting nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Listen, I, are you saying you're above spouting nonsense? Um, so yeah, I saw this and I was like, okay, I mean, I get it. Like they gotta, gotta end sometime, but like they're going to be rushing shit. Netflix has officially renewed the Witcher for a fifth season and a final season at that. Is it a fifth and final season? Or are they saying the fifth and there's going to be a fifth and a sixth season? Cause now I'm kind of feeling like the wording on this is, is, is tricky. When you guys see fifth and final season, are you thinking that the fifth is the final season? You know what I'm saying? Uh, as filming commences on season four of the hit fantasy drama, fifth is final, I would assume. That's what I'm assuming, but now I'm feeling like maybe I'm, maybe I'm, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Hey, there's the uh, YouTube link in the chat if you guys want to hit up that YouTube. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty sick if you ask me uh there was uh <laughs> uh cycle are you still are you still here did you see the uh you see the uh the thumbnail for that last banjo uh uh video that went up today that's pretty fun i, I felt pretty good about it <laughs> yeah 
I will check it now. It's in the Discord if you want to. If you don't want to go over to the to the YouTube, um, you can see it. Um. <laughs> uh. It's one of those ones that I'm, I'm always shocked. I was like, well, it got a lot of clicks today for some reason. <laughs> for some reason. I wanted to go back over and see again where it was at. 42 clicks on that bad boy, which is, I mean, listen, again, not very many. Uh, you know, your boy is, is, a small, is a small YouTuber over here, you know? Small streamer, small YouTuber, 42 clicks. Not bad. For some reason, bro. Tell me, tell me that's not a good, that's not a banger of a thumbnail though. <laughs> Boobies. I don't think I'll watch the Liam ones. TBH. Well, listen. Maybe I was. I'm. Here's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm gonna give him a chance. Uh, but I am. I'm right there with you. Jenna, if if it's not good though, I'm out. We back on them. That's right. Is engagement bait? It's not. It's not unfair. It's in. That's. It's in the video, my dude. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not clickbaiting anybody. You know. Tits the season. Yeah, that's true. The most important thumbnail. I'm just surprised because I mean, listen. Uh, you know, uh, the renewal announcement for the Netflix coincides, uh, the renewal announcement from Netflix coincides with the news that the Witcher's fourth and now pent ultimate season will, uh, has entered production. Oh, so it is the fifth season will be the last one. Won't play him well. He's too handsome Squidward vibes. You know what? I actually feel that about uh, Henry Cavill as well. I, I remember, and I think Vash felt this as well, when we first saw Cavill kind of doing like, just doing like the hair and makeup and stuff, we were like, God, this looks terrible. We Liam just... Hemsworth is like someone is cosplaying as OG Polish TV show version of Geralt. <laughs> hey, there you go. Get that free wood redeem in there, my friend. Uh, you're not wrong. I mean, he definitely got that cosplay kind of look, but so did, again, so I'm saying, Henry Cavill kind of had that look too when they first started uh, before they were actually in the TV show. So maybe it'll be all right. But he did great and he's a big fan. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Liam is is, is coming in in a, in a very tough spot. He's, uh, he's, 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 he's gonna be fighting an uphill battle the whole time. He's obviously only gonna get two seasons. I, I feel like, you know, as I said, I'm going to give him a chance. I, I feel like it's unfair. Um, he's, you know, he's just doing what he can do. Flo voice doesn't fit his shit. I, I, that's true. He's going to have to have something. Maybe just have him um, dubbed over by Doug Cockle, right? Have the, the actual Geralt do the voice. Henry is the right heaviness. Uh, listen, God, is, isn't... I, it's one of those weird things where you find out about Henry Cavill too when you're like this guy's a fucking nerd and I mean I'm not even mad at it I'm just like god damn that would be mean but yeah but Doug Cockle's got the, the best the best voice for it right I mean why not I don't know like if Liam was like what if Liam was like like listen I, I can't get the voice right you know, maybe we just, we have like, we have like Doug help us out. The strongest type of nerd. Yeah. And he's also like a big, like PC guy. Like he's made a bunch of videos about making, like building his PC and stuff, which is not like the most nerdy thing in the world, but it's also like a step above what a normal person is going to do. Right. I'm going to say girth, but that would have been worse. No, 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 no. It's definitely girth. You're not wrong. The voice. Oh shit! There you go, bot. Is the bot is the bot sending the messages correctly? Uh huh. There it is. Liam's got that Australian twang. He's probably gonna, uh, you know, make the 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 twang not be so ridiculous. He's probably gonna do an American, you know, 
voice though they said they were gonna work in how he was gonna how that was gonna work they said there was gonna be some way where they were gonna do a transition that it was gonna make sense which now i'm like i'm i'm worried all over again holy fuck i forgot about that some in-universe shit that they said that that's what they were gonna do oh fuck fuck Man, I do want to see that at least. I'm just saying. I'm 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 there. I'm gonna be there. Uh, I don't know if I have much more shit about to say about this. I don't think I care anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you guys are you guys are you guys are really really harsh in my buzz over here. All right, let's get into this next uh, this next uh, trailer. This is for a movie called Trap. Uh, it is an M Night Shyamalama Ding Dong film uh i watched the trailer real quick i mean it looks okay let's uh i figure i would show it to you guys i think it, i think it's i think it's got some potential in here you know m night be doing some weird shit sometimes but uh yeah let's let's take a look ladies and gentlemen put your hands together for lady raven Time I shoot. No, dad jokes. This is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, you love to see a little a Josh Hartnett coming back. This is slap dad. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Jamie, what's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. Something happening? Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. They're watching all the exits, checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. I'm sorry, Riley, what was that? Your daughter is never gonna forget this day. God damn it, Ron! You're kinda dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, nice. All right. Uh, interesting. So here's the thing. I saw you say it, Cross. Buddy, I, I hate to say this to you. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie, bro. I don't think it's I don't think it's that straightforward. I think you're being misled immediately from the trailer, my dude. I actually think you didn't call it yet. I think you think you have. Um, yeah, I think it looks interesting and not great, but you know, interesting. Um, I did see, I did see that uh, they're gonna pull a sneaky. Right, I know, I agree. Me and Jenna out here, I mean, we're just we're just smarter than the rest of y'all. I and then listen, it's 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 hard for us to be this smart, but. Hmm. Um, but yeah, so 
I also saw that uh, uh, Kid Cudi, who is uh, where I get my namesake from, if you didn't know, uh, he is also in this. So he has something in it. Um, he tweeted about it or Instagrammed or threaded or I don't know, something about it. I, I saw it somewhere. I don't fucking remember now. It had to be Instagram because it's nothing else. Uh, but yeah, so I uh, I was like, all right, that's cool. It's fine. I don't, I, I you know, I don't know if it's going to be the, the movie I go see, but it is definitely something. So damn it, Shamalama. Yeah, that's how it is, man. Um, and I already got one more. Maybe he performs at the concert in the movie. Oh, that'd be cool. Actually, you know what? You might be you might not be wrong. Uh okay, so last one is Kingdom Come Deliverance 2 was announced. Um, I watched the trailer for it. I don't understand the appeal completely of this game, but I'm sure that there's people who like these games or whatever, so I wanted to make sure I brought it up. Um they said it's going to be twice as big as the original, a behemoth of a game. War Horse uh, Studio has officially announced Kingdom Come Deliverance 2, the sequel to its popular RPG set in me uh, medieval Bohemia. War Horse Studio fully unveiled the sequel at a private event last week, confirming, among other things, that it will be twice as large as the original, touting it as a behemoth of a game. Uh, and you're going for the double deuce. I've not even seen, not even seen Pooh. Oh yeah, Pooh. Eh, I'm not that. I, those movies look terrible. Uh, what we are making now is what is going to be in the beginning, and we are. Oh my god, what we are making now is what it was supposed to be in the beginning, but we weren't able to do it because we didn't have enough resources, experience, and all that stuff. Um, there is a choice is big in what way and and the and the girthiest way possible uh <laughs> right um but yeah I, again if you're interested there's a trailer you can take a look it's definitely one of those ones that just is i don't know it, it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't hit me in that spot that i thought oh i want to i want to play that but i was like eh, whatever you know i figure i should talk about it so if you were a big kingdom come deliverance fan second one is on the way and it, i believe it is um scheduled for this year do they have a, a date on this bad boy uh currently targeting 2024 release date um for xbox series x and s uh ps5 and pc so so yeah i want to make sure i brought this up to you guys uh outside of that i think that's going to go ahead and wrap it for the news um good time guys good good time wild a wild time um yeah like i said that will go ahead and wrap it for the news uh we'll hang out a little bit and and do some things before we get into viewfinder but uh yeah i uh i think that's gonna do it and i will see y'all on the other side